Good day everyone, John from The Worship Portal here with a studio setup. If you've always wanted to set up your own home studio, this is the series for you. I recommend what gear to get within a particular budget. Today our limit is $500. Now a quick disclaimer, these are my opinions, do not take them as gospel. It's also just one way to spend your money. There are plenty of other things you could get for within $500, but this is what I like. If you have experience with anything I recommend today, or you have alternatives within that same budget, the comments below are for you. This list also assumes that you have a computer and the door of your choice. On the Mac side of things, GarageBand is a great option, and if you have a PC, Audacity is free, and I've heard great things about it. Now let's see what we can build for $500. I'll be honest right up front, a lot of these studio setups, especially the budget ones, are going to include a Focusrite product of some sort, and this one is no different. For the interface, I'm going to recommend the Focusrite Scarlet Solo. For the price, there is no better option on the market. With one XLR input, one quarter inch input, phantom power, USB-C connectivity, and even an air button, which boosts the mids in some applications in a very pleasing way. Um, this is a powerhouse and you can regularly get it for $99 down from a usual price of, of around $120. The only thing I don't really like is that it has quarter inch stereo outs and not XLR. Focusrite, would it have been that difficult to put in those dual connector things that everybody else has? But otherwise, great interface. Any setup on a strict budget is gonna to have to cut costs somewhere, and this is where it's gonna be for this setup. For the dynamic microphone, I'm suggesting the Shure SM48. It is a great budget option for only $40. Is this microphone gonna blow you away? Probably not, but for recording amps or the low end of an acoustic guitar along with a condenser microphone, the SM48 will do you just fine. The Audio-Technica AT2020 is one of my favorite mics ever. For just $100, you get an outstanding quality condenser microphone that's great for anything from vocals, podcasting, acoustic guitars, percussion, uh, drum overheads, and everything in between. In fact, I love this mic so much that when my church needed to set up 10 podcasting stations, I bought 10 AT2020s and 10 of the Scarlet Solos that I just mentioned before for us to get a great quality and consistent sound for our podcast. That's how much I love the sound. If you don't have one of these mics, change it, pick one up, you won't regret it. It's a great all around condenser to have. A decent MIDI controller is pretty much a necessity these days, and I'm always gonna recommend one that has multiple functions. The Novation Launch Key Mini Mark III is a great 25 key MIDI controller that has 16 velocity sensitive pads and even eight rotary knobs, all of which are customizable. Now you won't be super comfortable if you do a lot of piano tracking, but the fact that you can do some synth lines, beats and automation, all with a physical device is great, especially for $110. Ideally, I'd love to recommend you the 61 key version, especially if you're going to be doing some piano tracking, but that's out of the price range for this video. Uh, but the 25 will definitely get your home studio going. I'm going to be honest here. I think a good pair of studio headphones is just about the most important thing a home studio can have. I also believe that you do not have to pay through the nose to get a good pair of studio headphones. For this setup, I'm going to recommend the Sony MDR 7506 Large Diaphragm Headphones. For a hundred bucks, you get a classic studio headphone that is about as flat as they'll come. I also like the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros for the same price, but for reference monitors, for this setup, I'm going to recommend the Sony's. Yeah, you're not going to get monitors in this price range. Use the headphones. As always, you're gonna need a few accessories like a mic cable, a mic stand, a pop filter, but you can get this kind of stuff for around 50 bucks from Amazon, from Sweetwater, from Guitar Center, wherever your uh, preferred store is. Do you like these choices? Do you have any experience with any of this gear? Let me know in the comments and join in on the conversation over on Discord. You'll find links to all of the items I mentioned today down in the description. 
probably all from Sweetwater since they're awesome. And a huge thank you to my Worship Portal Plus subscribers over on the Patreon page for making these videos possible. If this video helped you or you enjoy any of my content, please consider subscribing over on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. It helps me and the channel out an awful lot, and that's less than a cup of coffee per month, so I think anyone can afford that. I hope you enjoyed this studio setup. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe and follow everywhere else. Have a good one.